welcome to the project demonstration of coin based mobile phone charging so here we are going to detect the real time coins and also we are going to classify them which has to be accept and which has to be reject so we have coded this uh, gd007 coin sensor with 2 rupee coins so that's this system will accept only 2 rupee coins and this 5 rupee coins or other coins will be rejected by that and it will be come out in this way and accept coins will be goes to the below box so the system will inform to the microcontroller in pulses so when the whenever the, this two rupee coin uh, detects then it will provide the pulse signal to the microcontroller so here we are using pic 16f 73 microcontroller which will read the pulses so based on the pulse input the system will add 60 seconds duration to on this charging circuit so this is the charging circuit which will provide the dc output directly through this electromagnetic relay which is a 5 volt operated and continuously we are displaying the remaining time and current time will be displayed on the lcd whenever the time is below 20 seconds means the remaining time is comes down to 20 seconds then the buzzer will indicate the user to add one more coin to continuous charging of mobile phone so this is the main flow so coming to the power flow so we are providing 230 volts ac inputs parallelly to this regulated power supply board charging circuit and transformer so this charging circuit will provide us the 5 volts output dc by taking 230 volts ac inputs and parallelly we are providing 230 volts ac to this transformer so which will step down the 230 volts ac to 12 volts ac and that is the input to this regulated power supply board so which will rectifies ac to dc and next filter to remove the pulses and regulators so there we can see the two regulators one is a 7805 and there is a 7812 7805 will provide as a 5 volts dc output 7812 will provide as the 12 volts dc output so the 12 volts dc is a operating voltage for our gd007 coin sensor and 5 volt is the operating voltage to our microcontroller so here we have interface a coin sensor at a4 pin of our microcontroller buzzer at c3 pin and this relay c7 pin and b2 to b7 for this 16 by 2 lcd screen so these are the inputs and output module so in order to train the coin so if you want to change the coin to 5 rupee coin then before on the power supply we need to hold this reset switch and we need to on the power supply then there will be a led indication on this module till that led offs you should keep on insert the coin continuously means it will train that so you are training nothing but there we can see the two sections here so these four wires are transmitting coils and these four wires receiving coils so when any metal coin passes through this so then the reference voltage will be received by this end and inside this there is will be, there will be one more controller which will capture the reference voltage while training so means the reference voltage nothing but reference coin so after led off then we can uh, execute the project so the, so the, then onwards the system will accept only 5 rupee coin if we train this so now we have trained the 2 rupee coin so let us see the demonstration so just on the power supply to this system so then uh, initially welcome message on the lcd screen okay so now the charger off and now let me insert the wrong coins so it will be rejects no input to the microcontroller so once we insert the 2 rupee coin yeah so now we insert the 2 rupee coin and again so when the timer comes down to uh, below 20 seconds then the buzzer will get switched on so intimate the user so the timer is going to be end and charger will be off so if you add the coin by the time the seconds will be added so meanwhile if i insert any other coin no response and the coin will be rejected by the coin sensor module right so keep on beeping so the time will be incremented here right 
charge. We can see that the charger got switched off. So while we demonstrate the project, we should provide the 230 volts AC from direct plug instead of using the spike, better to use the direct plug into the main socket so that there is no interrupt while execution. If there is an interrupt generated because we are working on the time uh, pulses from this coin sensor module. So we are providing around 750 milliamps of current with 5 volts from this charging circuit. So we can use in real time, we can go with the higher version also. Thank you.